Well, the minute Governor Dana Malloy announced that he would not take a third term in office, the talk turned to who would run for that job in 2018. The potential candidate list growing by the day. And tonight, in a special report, Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis taking a closer look at who wants to be the next governor of Connecticut. Today, 53-year-old Kevin Lembo of Guilford, the state controller who has bucked the Malloy administration on business incentives and budget issues over the past six years, became the latest Democrat in the race to replace him. I'm sick and tired of how things are going. I'm sick and tired of our economy stumbling along. It makes no sense whatsoever. When Governor Malloy announced two weeks ago that he would not seek a third term, speculation among Democrats immediately focused on Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman. So far, she has declined all comment on the rapidly expanding race, but is known to be consulting friends and supporters about a possible run. And there has been much speculation about Brantford State Senator Ted Kennedy Jr. His obvious famous political name and anticipated ability to raise large amounts of campaign cash considered a major asset. He has declined to comment on a possible run. Ted Kennedy and the lieutenant governor are waiting until the session's over. They have a very difficult job to finish for the next few weeks before they make any decisions. New Haven's Nick Belletto is Democratic State Party chairman and says Lieutenant Governor Wyman is the one to watch for the next big move. I think the lieutenant governor is obviously the most popular candidate we have as a Democrat in the state of Connecticut, and I think people are going to wait and see what she does as they make their decisions. Besides Limbo, Middletown Mayor Dan Drew, former Consumer Protection Commissioner Jonathan Harris, and former federal prosecutor Chris Matty have officially announced. Kennedy, Wyman, Bridgeport Mayor Joe Gannam, and Attorney General George Jepson are all considered possibilities on the Democratic side. You may see up to four candidates uh, in a primary. And again, I'm okay with that. On the Republican side, Shelton Mayor Mark Loretti, Glastonbury physician and state rep Prasad Srinivasan, businessman Joe Visconti of West Hartford, and Afghan war veteran Micah Weltakonis of Coventry are declared candidates. Five others are exploring a run. There has also been speculation about House Minority Leader Themis Claritus of Derby. Republican State Party Chairman J.R. Romano says he expects more candidates, but whoever gets the nomination, his push will be the same one that won the Republicans so many legislative seats last fall. It's not just Dan Malloy, and, and, and what we're, what we're going to run on is, is the facts. And the fact is the Democrats, in, its enti in their entirety, have failed the state. Everyone knows that whatever budget the Assembly finally passes and the governor signs is going to be unpopular. Romano believes that it will hurt Democrats at the ballot box. But Paletto says the Democrats won't get all the blame this time. This is the first time the uh, Republicans have a real seat at the table, and they're going to put their proposal together, and they're going to have to sit there and say that they were part of the budget process. We're going to run on the fact that the Republican Party is going to want to grow this economy so that you have jobs, not grow government. We want to grow the economy. And what we've learned with the Democrats is that they want to grow government. Now, another Democrat, a very well-known Southern Connecticut politician, is expected to get into the race tomorrow. The party, party conventions are not scheduled for another year, and the election itself is 18 months away. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.